welcome to update 3.7 of Workspace 365. This is the last update of 2019 and I have some very exciting things to show to you. The first thing which I'd like to show to you is the local app launcher of Workspace 365. Previously you could already open your local applications, your remote applications and your web applications, but now we've simplified the way to open the local applications and made it easier for admins to set this up. Previously, you could already open your local applications from Workspace 365, but you had to manually program it for each device. Now with the Workspace 365 app launcher, you can simply install an agent on the device and set up the local application in the workspace. In addition to easily opening applications with the app launcher, you can also give an action to the application. This allows you to, for instance, click on new email in your workspace and automatically start Outlook and compose a new email. Or you can open a direct folder in your file explorer from Workspace 365. Another possibility which the app launcher gives you is to open specific applications from your Windows Virtual Desktop straight from your workspace. The next feature which I really like is a new feature within the announcement tab. Within the announcement tab, someone who gets the pop-up or opens the message can now like the message. That way they show their appreciation for the organization. Furthermore, the people who are involved in internal communications in HR or marketing can now see how many people have seen the article which they published. You can see the views of an announcement straight from the lifestyle or in your admin panel. This way you can easily measure the effect of your announcements. I think that is a great feature as it brings more of your internet to the workspace. The next thing which I'd like to show you is new videos in the How To tab. The How To tab automatically adapts to person's roles. So based on the permissions, they can give you videos to increase the adoption of Workspace 365 and help you as a remote employee when you have no one around. In this update, we added more videos to this tile. For example, for Yammer, the To Do tile, the App Store and the How To tile itself. The next thing which I'd like to show you is especially for admins. You can now set permissions on the use of local office editors for the file server based on the permissions of a group. This enables you to determine whether a person or group can open their file server files in a local office editor. For instance, a dynamic security group that you're syncing to the workspace. You can, for instance, base the group's permissions on their Office 365 license to help people use the right editors for specific kind of files or on the fact that they don't have a local editor installed. This way, the file will open in the correct way. These were the highlighted features of update 3.7. Don't forget to check the release announcements on our support portal, support.workspace365.net. Here you will find more features. For instance, you can now set the default font in the email app. You can have the external images available by default in the email app. And now only the file servers which are available to a user are now listed in the document. And we have now added the possibility to cancel the process of copying or moving documents. Thank you for watching this update video. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you have any ideas to improve the workspace, visit our support portal and please fill in a feature request. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.